today is gonna be another installment of my top five series. This is gonna be my top five natural brands. And when I started researching natural ingredients and natural products earlier in the year, I read a lot of good books, but it wasn't until I found some blogs and other YouTubers where I could see real people recommending products, sharing what worked and what didn't work for them, that is when I got really excited. And two YouTubers that I love who feature a lot of natural products are Vlog with Kendra, and Kendra introduced me to the world of Vitacost. And for that, I am eternally grateful. She does a lot of Vitacost hauls and Kendra is also really fit and healthy so she'll do um, what I eat during the day which I find really interesting and the other YouTuber is Shannon Sullivan and I believe I found Shannon's channel when I think right before I placed my first Eco Diva order I was looking up reviews for the company and one of Shannon's hauls came up and I just remember that day going back and watching tons of her monthly favorites videos to see what products she was liking. So both of those girls have been such a help to me that I asked if they wanted to do this video too. So not only do you get to hear my top five natural brands, I'm going to link their videos down below so you can hear theirs as well. And I am sure that there's probably going to be some overlap because I got a lot of my product recommendations from them. So not only are we sharing our favorite brands, we're also going to share a couple recommendations of products from that brand. So I'm really excited. But before I get started, since I am uploading on Tuesday and Shannon always does Tea Time Tuesday, I thought I would share my mug. I'm using my Starbucks Holiday Plaid mug, which I love, and inside I am drinking the best tea. I was at my friend Karen's house the other day and she gave me a little packet of this Numi indulgent, che indulgent Tea Chocolate Earl Grey. And I had it that day. The very next day I went out and bought an entire box of this. It is so good. If you like chocolate with a little bit of orange, this is delicious and it's not too sweet, which is what I was worried about. So that is my tea recommendation and let's go ahead and get started in the product recommendations. The first brand I want to talk about is Acure and I love that their products are really high quality, full of amazing ingredients, yet Acure is really affordable and I buy most of their products at Mom's Organic Market, Whole Foods, or Vitacost. And my two most repurchased Acure products are their shampoo. This is the Moroccan Argan Stem Cell plus Argan Oil with CoQ10 and Omega-7 Triple Moisture Repairing Shampoo. And I have fine, dry hair, so I need a moisturizing shampoo, but I don't want one that's going to weigh down my hair. And this shampoo is amazing for that. And I went through so many of the regular size bottles that I ended up getting the big jug, and he has been lasting me for a while. And my other most repurchased Acure product is their Brightening Facial Scrub. And this uses sea kelp as a physical exfoliator, and it also has French green clay, so it's really really good at cleaning out the pores and I use this two or three times during the week if I have any flakes this takes care of that and when I rinse it off my face does look really smooth and brightened. If I were to ever design product packaging I think it would look a lot like the One Love Organics. I love their bottles and I just like the company. I think the founder Susan just seems like a genuinely nice person who cares about the ingredients and the people who use her products and right after I read the book No More Dirty Looks my first Eco Diva order was for a One Love product and I have purchased this many times since. It's their vitamin B enzyme cleansing oil and makeup remover. And I have tried a lot of cleansing oils from Bosha, Josie Marin, Garnier, and this is by far my favorite. It works so wonderfully at getting off my makeup. I use it at night to get my makeup off and then I'll go in with a regular cleanser. And then my other One Love product that I love is their Healthy Locks, which is a dry shampoo powder. And this is actually their old packaging. It's recently been redone. And if you can believe it, it's even cuter. And this this does what a dry shampoo should. It absorbs oil and lets my hairstyle last a little bit longer, but it also has nourishing and strengthening ingredients, which I think is really cool. Moving into makeup, I have tried a lot from RMS Beauty and they use raw food grade organic ingredients. And the two items I brought down, first I have their Unpowder and like a lot of people with really oily skin, I have tried a lot of setting powders and this is my favorite. I believe it's 100% silica and it's so fine. It's just a light as air powder that gives a kind of soft focus effect to my face and helps me stay oil free for longer without ever looking cakey. And then the other item is a cult favorite. This is their Living Luminizer. This is a cream highlighter that looks so natural, like you are glowing from within and it's easy to use. And I think it just looks very effortless on the skin. Another brand that uses food grade ingredients is Bite Beauty. And I think it's safe to say that this is the year of Bite Beauty. Before 2014, I hadn't tried any of their products and now I own an embarrassing number of their lipsticks. And someone actually requested a 
Bite Beauty collection video and I wanna do it, I've just been putting it off because I think it's gonna take forever for me to film. And my two favorite product lines from Bite Beauty are their Luminous Cream Lipstick. And I got out of my purse the shade Pepper, which is just an everyday perfect rosy brown shade. And then if you're more of a fan of matte lips, I think that their matte cream lip crayon line is one of the best matte formulas on the market. And this is the shade Brandy, which is just a beautiful raspberry. So if you haven't tried Bite yet, I highly recommend it. Last, I wanna talk about Red Apple Lipstick. They are a gluten-free makeup line. And I'm sure that Shannon's gonna talk about this a bit more because she has celiac disease. So for people with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, a lot of mainstream lip products have gluten in them. So I think it's fantastic that Red Apple is bringing attention to that. And my favorite lipstick from their line is Audrey and this is a perfect neutral pink. It's very moisturizing. So this alongside a pepper stay in my purse a lot. And then my other favorite red apple product is actually an eyeshadow and it's from their matte line. It's in the shade Sugar and Spice, which is right up here in my palette. And this has become my go-to crease shade. It's so blendable and it just creates a nice warmth. So I'm wearing Sugar and Spice all over my crease. And then on my lid, I'm wearing this really pretty rose gold from their Christmas collection called Oh Snap. And then my lipstick today is actually a red apple lipstick in the shade Gypsy Soul. That is all for my top five natural brands. And there were a lot of brands that I really like but couldn't include in this video. So I will make sure to include them when I do my end of the year roundup. But make sure to watch Kendra and Shannon's video. I will link those down below. And if you missed it, I did upload a video on Sunday. It is my gift guide for beauty lovers. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.